grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Say what it says. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. So the Holy Spirit can be grieved. Did I make it out? Come on, talk to me. No. The Holy Spirit can be grieved. The Holy Spirit can, be, can be grieved. This word grieved in the Greek, when I looked it up, I thought it was so, so um, amazing. I, I don't want to make up anything, so I'm going to give you what it said. It says, don't make the Holy Spirit sorry. Don't make the Holy Spirit sad. Okay? Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. See, because then that raises the question, what grieves the Holy Spirit? If I'm unstoppable and the Holy Spirit is grieved or made sad, then that's what stops me. It's grieving the Holy Spirit. It's something more when you can't hear clearly the Holy Spirit. If, my, if the Holy Spirit is grieved inside of me, or my spirit becomes grieved because the Holy Spirit is grieved inside of me, then the Holy Spirit or the kingdom slows down. <laughs> okay, since y'all don't believe me, what happens to you when you get sad? Are you as creative when you're sad? Are you, are you as creative when you're grieving something? No. no. So what we want to spend more time doing is making, clearing things out of our lives so the Holy Spirit don't get grieved.